Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Imagine a battlefield where the loudest sound isn't an explosion, but a silent beam of light traveling at the speed of physics itself. No missiles launched, no interceptors burned, just a precise flash that ends a threat in seconds. This is not science fiction, this is Israel's iron beam. For decades, Improvised explosive devices, IEDs, have been the weapon of choice for asymmetric warfare cheap, hidden, unpredictable, and deadly. They don't need air superiority, advanced aircraft, or satellites. They only need patience. But now, a new defender has entered the field. A laser weapon designed not to intimidate, but to neutralize. Today's question is simple, yet powerful. Can a beam of light really change the balance against one of the most feared battlefield threats in modern history. In this video, we will go beyond headlines and hype. We will break down how Iron Beam works, what it can and cannot do, and whether laser weapons truly mark the beginning of the end for IED dominance. Stay with us, because this story isn't just about technology, it's about how warfare itself is evolving right before our eyes. Improvised explosive devices have shaped modern conflicts more than almost any other weapon. From urban streets to rural roads, IEDs thrive on uncertainty. They are cheap to build, easy to hide, and devastatingly effective. A buried charge, a roadside package, or a drone drop device can halt armored columns, disrupt supply lines, and create constant psychological pressure. What makes IEDs so dangerous isn't just their explosive power, it's their invisibility. Soldiers never know when or where the next one will strike. Even the most advanced armies have struggled against them, spending billions on armored vehicles, jammers, detection robots, and training. Yet, despite all these measures, IEDs continue to claim lives. They force militaries into slower movement, heavier protection, and constant caution. This is the battlefield problem Iron Beam aims to address, not by chasing bomb makers or clearing every road manually, but by intercepting threats before they reach their targets. Understanding this context is crucial. Iron Beam isn't fighting a conventional army, it's confronting unpredictability itself. And that makes its mission far more complex than simply shooting something down. Iron Beam is Israel's directed energy laser defense system designed to complement existing air and ground defense layers. Unlike traditional interceptors that rely on rockets or missiles, Iron Beam uses concentrated laser energy to destroy incoming threats. Its targets include short-range rockets, mortars, drones, and potentially IED-carrying platforms before they can strike. The key idea is precision. Instead of exploding near a target, the laser heats critical components until failure occurs. This approach dramatically reduces collateral damage and eliminates the need for costly ammunition. Each laser shot costs only a fraction of what a missile interceptor does. Another major advantage is speed. A laser travels at the speed of light, meaning there is virtually no reaction delay. Once a target is tracked and locked, engagement is immediate. Iron Beam is designed to work alongside systems like Iron Dome, creating a layered defense where lasers handle close range and low cost threats while missiles focus on more complex targets. This integration is what makes Iron Beam strategically important. It's not a replacement, it's a force multiplier. IEDs themselves don't fly, but the methods used to deliver them increasingly do. Drones, small rockets, and improvised launch systems have become common ways to deploy explosives. This is where Iron Beam finds its niche. Lasers are particularly effective against small, slow, or low-altitude targets. Drones carrying explosive payloads, for example, are ideal laser targets. They are vulnerable, lightly built, and require precision destruction rather than explosive interception. By neutralizing the delivery platform mid-air, Iron Beam prevents the IED from ever reaching its intended location. This shifts the battle from reactive cleanup to proactive prevention. Instead of detecting an IED after it's planted, Iron Beam aims to stop the threat while it's still moving. 
That difference changes operational planning entirely. Convoys can move with greater confidence. Border areas gain stronger protection and response times shrink dramatically. However, this effectiveness depends on detection, tracking, and line of sight. Factors that define both the power and the limits of laser defense. One of Iron Beam's most disruptive advantages is cost. Traditional missile interceptors can cost tens of thousands of dollars per shot. An attacker using a cheap drone or improvised rocket creates an economic imbalance. Iron Beam flips that equation. Laser shots cost only a few dollars in electricity. Over time, this dramatically reduces defense expenses and makes sustained protection realistic. Logistics are also simplified. There's no need to resupply interceptors constantly. As long as power is available, Iron Beam can keep firing. This matters in prolonged conflicts where supply chains are under pressure. Sustainability becomes a strategic weapon. The ability to defend continuously without running out of ammunition changes long-term planning. It also reduces the psychological advantage attackers gain by launching repeated low-cost threats. When every attack can be neutralized cheaply and quickly, deterrence shifts. That said, power generation, cooling systems, and maintenance remain critical challenges that must be managed carefully. Despite its promise, Iron Beam is not invincible. Laser weapons are affected by weather conditions such as fog, rain, and dust. Line of sight is mandatory, meaning obstacles and terrain matter. Unlike missiles, lasers cannot curve around buildings or hills. Engagement time also depends on target hardness. Some threats require sustained laser exposure to be neutralized. These limitations mean Iron Beam cannot operate alone. It must function as part of a broader defense network. Understanding these constraints is essential to separating reality from hype. Iron Beam excels in specific scenarios, but it does not eliminate the need for traditional systems, patrols, intelligence, and ground operations. It changes the balance, but it doesn't end the fight. Beyond physical interception, Iron Beam introduces a psychological shift. For attackers, Unpredictability has always been a strength. Laser defense reduces that uncertainty. When drones fail to reach their targets and rockets vanish mid-flight, confidence erodes. For defenders, morale improves. Knowing that threats can be neutralized instantly and quietly changes how soldiers and civilians perceive danger. This psychological dimension may be one of Iron Beam's most underestimated effects. Warfare is not only about destruction, it's about belief, pressure, and perception. A silent beam can be more intimidating than a loud explosion. Iron Beam is not a standalone solution. It's a node in a larger digital battlefield. Sensors, radar, AI, assisted tracking, and command systems all feed into its effectiveness. Data sharing between air defense, ground forces, and intelligence units allows Iron Beam to act as part of a coordinated response. This integration represents the future of warfare, faster decisions, automated responses, and layered protection. As threats become more networked, defenses must do the same. Iron Beam fits directly into this evolving model. Israel's deployment of laser defense systems sends a message to the world. Directed energy weapons are no longer experimental concepts, they are operational tools. Other nations are watching closely. If Iron Beam proves consistently effective, similar systems will likely appear elsewhere. This could redefine how low-cost threats like IEDs and drones are countered globally. The battlefield of the future may be quieter, faster, and far more precise. Yet, as defenses evolve, so will offensive tactics. Uh, the cycle of adaptation continues. So, can Iron Beam defeat IEDs? The honest answer is nuanced. It cannot eliminate the threat entirely, but it can dramatically reduce its effectiveness by stopping delivery platforms, lowering defense costs, and strengthening deterrence, Iron Beam shifts the battlefield balance. 
It turns light into a shield and speed into a weapon. The true impact of Iron Beam lies not in replacing existing defenses, but in redefining what is possible. Warfare is changing, and lasers are no longer just science fiction. They are active participants in modern conflict. If you found this deep dive insightful, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Are laser weapons the future of battlefield defense? Stay tuned for more powerful military technology breakdowns.